Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 500 Tasty Sandwiches of 1941, we're going to be making the cream cheese and chicken sandwich. It's uh, pretty complicated, so uh, let's get into it. We start off with cream cheese, to which we add minced chicken. And now we're to put our mixture onto bread. Okay, let's give this cream cheese and chicken sandwich a go. That's not bad. Alright, so this is tasty, right? It's chicken, it's cream cheese, it's bread. Pretty straightforward. Uh, that said, a lot of opportunity for plus-ups. I'm going to add pico de gallo. I figure, you know, that brings a lot of flavor and texture to the party in one thing. That's right. And a little bit of heat, too. Okay, let's give this plus-up cream cheese and chicken sandwich a go. Well, now it's a fiesta. Uh, the pico de gallo, of course, has tomatoes and onions and jalapeno. It's really brightening up uh, this sandwich, which tasted good, but a little heavy. Obviously, could have got a million ways with chicken and cream cheese. Plenty of potential plus-ups. I'm sure you'll share with me your ideas. That is the one thing. When you get a bare bone sandwich like this, it gives you lots of opportunities for plus-ups. So the original cream cheese and chicken sandwich kind of felt like a snack sandwich. It didn't feel like it was a full lunch sandwich. So I'd, I'd probably give that about a six, six and a half. It was good. Chicken's good. Goes well with cream cheese. It wasn't terribly interesting. Adding in the pico de gallo, I think, brought it up to about a seven and a half, eight. Uh, a snack sandwich. I'm definitely going to finish that and uh, yeah, I'd, I'd eat this again. <laughs> Alright, see you tomorrow. Oh.